I don't know what I can say about this next act. What can you say but sensational? All over the world, Frankie Lyman, a 13-year-old youngster with a great way with a song, and the teenagers. Baby, baby. Yeah. 
Annie for Kellogg's cornflakes. What a word of wisdom for you kids. If you're a little guy like me, with lots of growing to do, who'd like to shoot up strong and tall, here's my advice to you. I hope that I still have the letter that the nice lady at Disney sent me 20 years ago. I hope I still have it here somewhere. I think I do, along with the letter from Hustler magazine, which had the same basic uh, intent behind it and the same, almost the same blue ink at the bottom that said, lovely work, but too nice for Hustler magazine. Get a lot of that through my life, but you know. It's funny, I used to eat that stuff up, now all I want is to be paid. <laughs> and I kept, a lo- I kept that along with the letter from Anne Marie's beloved William Morris Agency. And I kept it with the letter from Truman Capote's um, publisher at the time, I believe, Random House, for my own uh, anti-New Yorker screed uh, when I was asked um, how long I worked at the New Yorker. Uh, I had to tell them, yeah, like I ever worked at the New Yorker with a vowel on the end of my name. <laughs> I, I don't think so, you racist pigs. <laughs> but I hope I still have that somewhere because the funny thing is that after I had sent them that letter and spoke of things like Machiavelli as the hero of Stone Soup, the clever man who gets the girl who I was told was too Italian for Disney. (laughs) After I did that, suddenly all these brunette, all these brunette girls showed up at Disney and they had names like Jasmine and they were like orange skinned, like Whoopi would say about American, about the American gypsies that are the Italians for some reason. Well, I say now that that pandemic of yours was as important to me as it was to Biden and for much more important reasons than just becoming Cleopatra. See, Biden thought this was going to give him everything he wasn't. This was going to give me everything I was. This was my moment of green laurel that I've been, you know, chomping at the bit for. I had to go back to 1995. I had to go back to my Lois Lanes. I had to go back to my my sexy Lois Lanes, my uh, brunette girls. I don't care if Disney comes up with dark-haired, dark-skinned princesses. See, because a man named Bazali who is beloved by the Grimm brothers, he had Princess Zosa, all right, when uh, the Disney family was still probably living in barbarian trees. So I never liked Disney. Unlike my mother, I never liked Disney. And I noticed that after that letter, they tried to pretend they were decent. And the Disney company trying to pretend they're decent is like the same thing coming from the Clinton marriage. I mean, who the fuck are you trying to kid?
gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my own A doll that other fellows cannot steal And then the flirty, flirty guys with their flirty, flirty eyes Will have to flirt with dollars that are real When I come home at night she will be waiting She'll be the truest doll in all the world I'd rather have a paper doll to call my own than have a fickle minded real life girl. Ma catara na pupa te carta che possa chiamare tutta mia. Na pupa te lo auto picciotto no bozza robare. E pollo figlio figli picciotto. Pollo figlio figlio occhio. A botare con l'auto femmina. Be davvero. E quando viene dentro mi stai aspettando. E se è la più dolce pupa di tutto il mondo E voglio guardare una pupa di carta che possa chiamare tutta mia Then have a fickle minded real life girl Catara na pupa de carta que possa chamar do tamia. A pupa de laute pechota não bosa robare. E pulo figlu figlu pechote, pulo figlu figlu oikia. A pitare com laute fumina, me dá vero. E quando vim no rinjo, me está espetando. Essa é a juju de pupa de tudo a muna. I'd rather have a paper dog to call my own than have a fickle-minded girl who keeps me in a world. I'll buy a paper dog to call my own. 